two cities enter, one city leaves. It's time for the ultimate showdown of Walnut Creek versus Pleasant Hill. It's like choosing between pizza or burgers. They are both amazing, but which one is the ultimate winner? And in today's video, that's what we're going over. Welcome back to the channel where we give you the ultimate insight on all things East Bay Area to help educate you and your family on the best decisions. If you don't already know, my name is Roland Osage with Real Broker. We help people just like you move here to the East Bay Area or leave the East Bay Area whether you're looking to make a move in 12 days or 12 months, we got you covered. By the way, I noticed some of you haven't subscribed yet. So before you get too far into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I put out videos every single week regarding real estate, new developments, restaurants, events coming up here in the East Bay area, we cover it all. So today's decision, of course, is Walnut Creek or Pleasant Hill. It's a question I get asked often and ultimately comes down to your needs. So let's get into the details. Coming in at over 70,000 residents, Walnut Creek usually is the more prominent choice between the Walnut Creek Pleasant Hill debate. But that doesn't mean that Pleasant Hill is down for the count. With Walnut Creek, it's a combination of factors. It could be the city's incredible, fun, foodie drenched downtown, or it could be the abundance of trails for hiking and biking that it offers as well. But what it really boils down to is price and how important living in Walnut Creek versus Pleasant Hill is gonna be for you. In fact, I've had plenty of clients who end up choosing Pleasant Hill over Walnut Creek. In Walnut Creek, we have four different zip codes. 94595, which covers the southeastern part of Walnut Creek with neighborhoods like Rudgear Meadows and Saranac. 94596, which covers the central part of Walnut Creek, this is more of the downtown area, Civic Park, and other neighborhoods north and south of downtown. 94597, which covers the western and northern parts of Walnut Creek. The neighborhoods you'll see in this zip code are Park Mead, Tice Valley, and then the eastern ridge of Rossmore. Lastly, we have 94598, which covers the eastern and southern parts of Walnut Creek. And the well-known neighborhoods in this zip code is Northgate, Heather Farms, and Walnut Heights. Now, keep in mind, this is where local knowledge really helps when you choose a real estate agent, because all of these neighborhoods come with different schools and price points. The reason I bring this up is because some Pleasant Hill neighborhoods can be even closer to downtown Walnut Creek than a lot of these other Walnut Creek neighborhoods that I just mentioned. So Pleasant Hill only has two zip codes compared to Walnut Creek's four. 94523, which covers the eastern part of Pleasant Hill. Some popular neighborhoods you'll see in this zip code is Poets Corner and Gregory Gardens. And then we have 94522, which covers the western part of Pleasant Hill. And some popular neighborhoods for this zip code is Pleasant Hill Village and Fair Oaks. So like a lot of life itself, it's all about perspective with these two cities. With Pleasant Hill's 35,000 residents compared to Walnut Creek's 70,000, it's a given that it's gonna be less congested and more laid back. You could even easily look at Pleasant Hill as just another neighborhood of Walnut Creek, even though it is a sister city. You're incredibly close to all of Walnut Creek's amenities just without the price tag. For downtown Pleasant Hill, it's of course nowhere near the level of downtown Walnut Creek, but it's still a great place that a lot of us go to enjoy dinner and a movie and sometimes some live events that downtown Pleasant Hill offers. Now I've mentioned price points quite a bit in this video, so let's get into the details of price points. Pleasant Hill's single family home median sales price in the last 30 days sits just under 1.1 million, while Walnut Creek's median single family home sales price sits just under 1.4 million. And hey, maybe you don't need a single family home and you're open to townhomes or condos. Pleasant Hills median sales price for condos and townhomes sits just above 600,000, while Walnut Creek's condos and townhomes median sales price sits right above 700,000. Now keep in mind, these are median numbers because townhomes in Walnut Creek and even sometimes in Pleasant Hill can go from sevens to eight hundreds. Now, if you're not familiar with East Bay at all, one of the main questions you probably have is why is Walnut Creek so much more expensive than Pleasant Hill? Well, like many other cities, the more businesses that wanna be in a certain town or city, as well as schools greatly drive prices of homes. All of the different zip codes between Pleasant Hill and Walnut Creek, they all land in different school districts. Some Pleasant Hill school districts can even end up in Walnut Creek schools. Now, if you are familiar with some of the major sites like Zillow, Realtor.com, and Redfin, they're gonna let you know if there's a home that you're looking at and interested in, what school districts or what specific schools are assigned to that specific address. I always encourage the home buyers that I work with to just go the extra mile and do a little bit of extra research on the schools that they're interested in because us as real estate agents can technically not give you too much advice around schools. Well, that is gonna conclude the end of this video. I wanted to keep it very straight to the point, so I hope you got some value out of this. So maybe you watched this video all the way through and you have some unanswered questions and there's a couple ways that I can answer those questions for you. You can either leave a comment in the comment section below, I'll always respond, or you have my contact info right there in the description and the comment section. Either way works for me, and don't forget, 
I put out videos every single week. Feel free to use me and my YouTube channel as a resource because if you're like me, you like to make well-informed decisions. We'll see you in the next video.